Introducing D5 Render 2.5. Welcome to the latest update of D5. Packed with 35 new additions and optimizations. Discover groundbreaking features like real-time caustics, advanced camera tool, section tool, optimized video editor, new cloud workspace D5 Studio, and real-time live sync for SketchUp. Speaking of assets, we have added 403 new models to our library. This includes new interior parallax assets, dynamic character models, xerophyte plants, and more. Upgrade now and dive into the new version with us. First up, the highly anticipated real-time caustics. Caustics are the patterns of light that are formed when light rays are refracted or reflected by a curved or irregular surface. Caustics effects are often found when light shines through glass or water. For example, the shimmering patterns around a glass bottle on the table, or the ripples on the bottom of swimming pools and walls. In D5 2.5, custom, transparent, water materials, and the four basic light sources now support real-time caustics effect. Caustics needs to be enabled in materials and lights simultaneously. The shape of caustics light spot is influenced by the model surface and the normal map. Adjusting the intensity and softness parameters, you can see the changes of caustics effect in real time. Another significant update, D5 Lysync for SketchUp. For a more immersive and effective real-time design, rendering experience, press shortcut key F9 to enter full screen mode. The SketchUp D5 workflow now offers real-time synchronization, without the need for manual clicking on the update button. This means that, as you make changes to your models, materials, and other data in SketchUp, they will automatically sync with D5 in real time. In this update of D5, we introduce some new tools to assist with scene building and storytelling. A cloud workspace provides designers and architects with a centralized and flexible platform for their assets and data to use across projects which is why we are presenting D5 Studio to you. Data in Studio is stored in the cloud space and associated with your D5 account. So even if you switch devices or work remotely, D5 Studio is easily accessible. For now you can create and store presets in Studio that include environment effect, brush, path, and fill presets. By selecting Create Preset in the right-click menu of the scene list and naming the preset, the effect and environment preset is saved to Studio, so you can directly apply the parameters to another project. To save brush, scatter or fill parameters, click on Add Preset at the bottom left corner of D5 Asset Library. As for Path Presets, select the path and find Create Preset in its right sidebar parameters. Next time you feel like using any adjusted effects, path or brush records, just apply one to your scene from D5 Studio. In addition to customized presets, D5 Studio aims to make your design process even more efficient and enjoyable by offering a resource section in it called D5 Curated. Here, a growing collection of high-quality presets, meticulously created by a group of talented designers are right at your fingertip. Here comes another much-awaited feature, Section Tool, enable it in Preference Widget, and the icon will appear on the top bar. Click on it, and you can use either Section Plane or Section Cube. Let's try Section Plane first, which is very easy to use. It automatically snaps and aligns to the selected face, according to the normal direction, whether it's a flat or curved surface, which saves you the trouble of manual rotation. You could also enable the fill option in the right sidebar to apply a specific color to the section surface. Filling color can be adjusted according to your needs.
if you want to section objects only in specified layers. All you need to do is place the objects to be sectioned in a separate layer. Go to Property Visibility on Layer and select Current. Section Cube, as the name suggests, looks just like a cube model. You can use the gizmo to scale it and chop parts out of the model with a cube. When it comes to better viewing and editing your design, Camera Tool is also an indispensable feature. Again, it can be enabled in Preference Widget, and an icon will appear on the top bar. Click on Camera, and you can directly create a camera to place inside the viewport and make adjustments while previewing in real time. Alternatively, you can create a camera with the Current Camera option. All the cameras you create will be included in the object list with a camera filter, making them easily accessible. Once you select a camera, a camera preview window will appear in the lower right corner of the viewport. Hit the pin so the camera window is always there for your reference as you're editing in the real-time viewport. This eliminates the need for repeated navigation, allowing you to focus on finding the best composition and effects. In Advanced Camera Tool, new aspect ratio options are also available. By selecting the desired camera and clicking the Activate icon, you'll find adjustable parameters on the right sidebar, such as aspect ratio, size, and more. This means you can effortlessly create vertical videos tailored for different social platforms. Now it's time to talk about a substantial update in the new version, an optimized video editor for easier animation rendering. Click here to enter video mode. With the newly added camera tool, there are two ways to create shots now. Method 1, create a shot as you did before, by clicking on plus current view here. Once you have created a shot, you can now directly add another view to any desired point of it. Method 2. Create a new shot based on the camera tool you added to the scene, with selected camera. In previous versions, each clip corresponded to one shot. However, in 2.5, one clip can contain one or multiple shots. This provides you with additional flexibility in capturing different perspectives. Get everything in one clip for more convenient preview, editing, export and post-production. With the upgrade of the whole video editing module, there has been a significant improvement in the performance of keyframes. In previous versions, after setting keyframes for a character to move from point A to point B and copying them to different shots, the character in each shot would start walking from point A to B, and then repeat. Now with 2.5, you can see that the new settings allow characters to perform the whole walking process across shots, without starting all over again. The new video editor actually goes far beyond your expectations, opening up a remarkable array of possibilities that will revolutionize your animation creation experience. For easier animation creation, you could use single selection, multi-selection, or cross-selection, and then, one, drag to change the order of the views. Two, drag to change the order of the shots. Three, duplicate or delete shots in bulk. While creating effects, you could 1. Copy and paste to another view in the same shot. 2. Copy and paste to multiple views in the same shot. 3. Select a shot and update effects for all the views in it. While exporting, you could 1. Right-click on a single shot 
to select Render or Add to Render Queue. 2. Select Multiple Shots and Render or Add to Render Queue in Right-Click Menu. 3. Right-click on a single clip to Render or Add to Render Queue. 4. Add all the clips to Render Queue with just one click. Open D5 2.5 and discover the optimized play control, zoom panel and more. New light source shape display option for point light, rect light and strip light. Enable it, and the actual sizes of the light sources will intuitively display in the viewport. So if you have slot lightings in your scene, you don't have to distinguish the emissive material in advance while modeling. D5 Super Resolution D5 self-developed super resolution algorithm is based on neural network super resolution image generation algorithm and combined with multi-channel rendering feature maps. It significantly speeds up image rendering In addition to the new stuff, we take a step further in optimizing the existing features and improving the interactive experience. The right sidebar has been redesigned. Batch parameter editings are available for paths and properties with adjustable parameters. The rotation axis of D5's gizmo has also been optimized to avoid collisions caused by MIS operation. In brush records, you can see the names of the models when you hover over their thumbnails, allowing you to quickly find the corresponding assets in D5 asset library and reuse it. D5 now has better support for high resolution screens. The size of the interface will scale according to your screen settings, and the fonts and icons will appear clearer. However, please note that this comes with an increased memory usage, and you can choose to enable or disable it in preference settings. D5's water material can now reflect glasses and their reflections, enabling accurate and realistic presentation of complex light and shadow effects. The real-time effect of subsurface scattering material has been significantly improved, and you can hardly see any noise in the viewport. There is a new option added to SSS material to enable skylight influence on SSS materials, further enhancing the rendering quality. Realistic plants are essential in architectural visualization. In this update, we have further optimized the vegetation effects, particularly in exterior scenes, the level of detail in darker areas and the light and shade effects have been enhanced, resulting in even more realistic and immersive visuals. Of course, we also ensured the consistency between real-time previews and video outputs. The rendering quality has also been optimized, with a noticeable improvement in clarity for images with a resolution of 2K and above. D5 Asset Library, as well, is updated with improved interactions. In addition to the existing dynamic filter, we have introduced an HD filter to easily locate models with higher definition, which are often placed closer to the camera to enhance the overall realism of your renderings. In the search bar, search history will be displayed for easy viewing of previous search records. Search suggestion is also supported, and you can click on the tags to directly jump to the corresponding search results. The material classification directory has been adjusted with new classifications, such as concrete, woven, SSS materials, etc. We are committed to providing a more user-friendly experience. Stay tuned for more optimizations in the asset library. Moving on to the last update in this video, we simplified the process of installing D5. 
All you need is a small 20 megabytes package from our official website d5render.com. Once launched with a simple setup process, it will automatically start downloading and installing. You can see a new installation interface. In addition to D5's installation directory, you can also choose the workspace folder for saving assets, local resources, and temporary files. In the permission settings, you have the option to choose whether to install D5 only for the current user or with administrator permissions for all users. This setting not only provides convenience for team collaboration, but also ensures software security. Now, we have covered some of the major updates in D5 2.5. There's definitely a lot more for you to explore. Check out the link in description for the full release note. If you'd like to learn more about a certain feature with a detailed tutorial, remember to leave a comment down below. Thanks for tuning in, and see you in the next version.